I think the biggest challenge that physicians have in treating ACS patients now is that we have several different antiplatelet agents and they each have different strengths and weaknesses and physicians are trying to figure out how best to individualize therapy for different patients. For example, some patients can easily be identified as being at increased risk of thrombosis. Others are identified easily as being at increased risk of bleeding. And we're trying to figure out who we should give the more potent agents and who we should avoid the most potent agents. One of the difficulties in this regard is that a lot of the risk factors for thrombosis and bleeding track together. So it's not as easy to dichotomize patients as you would think. And another very important thing that physicians are struggling with is whether to use platelet reactivity data, the ex vivo or on the bench measurement of a platelet patient's platelet function, or genetic information in determining what strength agent they need. It makes perfect sense that that should improve outcomes. So far, studies have not indicated that, and there are lots of efforts going on in an attempt to identify the very best ways to individualize a patient's therapy based on their clinical characteristics, anatomic characteristics, platelet reactivity, and genetics. We still have a lot to learn in this regard.